and welcome back to Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this video we're going to continue on with a lesson about uh, extended chords and add chords. So this is pretty much a continuation on from the, the last video that I posted which if you haven't seen I'll put a link in the information section down there. In that video I introduced the idea of being able to extend chords by adding in a ninth degree. And what I want to cover in this video is a bit more on the idea of what what extended chords and add chords are available to us within a given key. Look much more at sort of like harmony, uh, harmony side of things. A little bit of theory involved in this. If you're not completely up to speed with the idea of chord construction, some of the theory behind that, there's another couple of videos which again I'll link to down there in the information section. You might want to have a look at those first if you're not uh, you're not totally comfortable with the theory behind chord construction. If you are though, just quickly recap. Um, what we do when we talk about harmonising a scale out in chords, we're talking about building chords on each degree of the scale. So if we take an example C major, which has got these notes in it, if we're going to harmonise that scale out in triads, we can take each degree of the scale and use that as the root note of a triad. And effectively what we do is we go through the, the scale of the key and take alternate notes from it and add those together to give us a chord. So starting on the first degree, C, we add in alternate notes E and G, and that gives us a C major triad. On the second degree, we've got a D, and we take alternate notes from the, the C major scale starting on D, we get D, F and A, and that gives us a D minor triad. It's a minor triad rather than a major triad, because if you look at the notes involved in the key of D major, you've got an F sharp in there rather than an F natural. So in order to be able to get uh, notes that are diatonic to the, the key that we're harmonising. Sometimes we need to raise notes by a semitone or lower them by a semitone. And what we've done in this case is lower their F sharp by a semitone to give us an F natural. So that gives us a chord with the formula 1 flat 3 5 rather than just 1 3 5 in the case of the major, major triad. And that gives us a minor triad on the second degree. And if we repeat the process right the way down the scale, we end up with a 1 major chord, 2 minor, 3 minor, 4 major, 5 major, 6 minor and then 7 diminished on, uh, on the last degree. Similar process if we want to harmonise the scale out in 7th chords we still take alternate notes but rather than stopping at the 5th degree we add in 7th degree and that gives us these chords so we've got a 1 major 7, 2 minor 7, 3 minor 7, 4 major 7, 5 dominant 7, 6 minor 7 and 7 half diminished or 7 uh, minor, minor 7 flat 5. Two different names there but it effectively means the same chord. So when we harmonise the scale out in, tri in triads or 7th chords like that, basically all we're saying is these are the, the chords that we've got available to us that are diatonic to the key. If we want to play in the key of C major, we can use the C major 7 chord, we can use a D minor 7, an E minor 7, an F major 7 and so on possibly not so appropriate to use chords like D major 7 or E major 7 or F minor 7, minor seven because they, those chords would contain notes which aren't diatonic to the key of C major. So as you could get away with using them as passing chords or something sort of outside just to add, add a little bit of tension, but to think in, term, in terms of strictly diatonic notes, those are the, the chords that we've got available. So in the previous video we talked about extending chords. So taking the seventh chords and then just keep going and adding in a ninth degree. So same process, just adding in alternate notes. So let's do that now. We've got the, the scale harmonized out in seventh chords. Let's see what it looks like when we harmonize it out in nine chords. Looking at the first degree, based that on a C major seven triad, but we extended that, extend that to include a ninth degree. The ninth degree of C major is D. If you think about it, a 9 really is just the second degree, but it's an octave higher. So we've got a chord with, with notes C, E, G, B and D. And that's a C major 9 chord. It's a C major 7 chord extended to include a ninth degree, so we call that a major 9 chord. On the second degree, we've got a D minor 7 chord. Extend that to include the ninth degree of D, which is E. And we end up with a chord that's got the notes D, F, A, C and E. That's a D minor 7th chord with a 9th degree added. It's a D minor 9 chord. Formula 1, flat 3, 5, flat 7 and 9. 
When we get on to the third degree, it gets a little bit more interesting. We've also got a minor seventh chord on the third degree. But if we think about extending that to include the ninth degree, uh, the ninth degree of E is F sharp. So what we need to do to make that F sharp fit in with the key that we're harmonising, which is C major, we need to lower it by a semitone to give us an F natural. So that means this chord's got a different formula. It's got the formula 1, flat 3, 5, flat 7, flat 9. So it's not a minor 9 chord, because that's what we had on the, uh, the second degree. That has a natural 9 in it rather than a flat 9. So this chord with the formula 1, flat 3, 5, flat 7, flat 9, it's simply called minor 7, flat 9. Very simple name. It's basically telling you exactly what it is. It's a minor 7 chord, and it's also got a flat 9th degree on it. Fourth degree is a similar story to what we had on the uh, first degree. It's a major seven chord uh, based around an F root note. The ninth degree of F is G. If we add that on, it's diatonic to the key, so we've got a foot chord with the formula one, three, five, seven, nine. It's a major nine chord, F major nine. Fifth degree, we've got the dominant seventh chord. We've got that G seven chord. Ninth degree of G is A. So we can add that under the chord, give us a chord with the notes G, B, D, F and A. Formula 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 9. Again, it's based on a major triad, but it's already, a di by the time you get to harmonising in 7th chords, it's already a different type of chord. It's a dominant 7 chord rather than a major 7 chord. When we add in the ninth degree, it makes it into a dominant 9 chord. So that's, that's a distinct type of chord that we only get on the on the fifth degree in the major scale. The dominant seven chord extended to a ninth, include a ninth degree, dominant ninth, just written in this case as G9. Sixth degree, we've got a, an A minor seven chord, and the ninth degree of A is B. That's diatonic to the key, so we can add that in, it gives us a chord with the formula one, flat three, five, flat seven from the minor seven chord, and nine. That's the same chord type that we had on the second degree. It's a minor nine chord, A minor nine. On the last degree, we've got that B half diminished chord, the minor seven flat five. And think about what the ninth degree of B is. Well, that's a C sharp. Again, this is a note that's not diatonic to the key, so we need to alter it in some way to get it to fit in. So what we'll do is we'll lower that C sharp down to C natural. So that gives us a flat nine degree rather than a natural 9 degree. So on the 7th degree we've got a chord with the formula 1, flat 3, flat 5, flat 7, flat 9. So we could call that a half diminished flat 9 or we could call it a minor 7, flat 5, flat 9. Different names for it but effectively it's, it's the same thing and it conveys what it, what it is. It's a diminished triad with flat 7th, half diminished and then with a flat 9 on top of it. Or you can think of it as a minor 7 chord with a flat 5, five degree, which also has a, a flat 9. So that's what, what we've done there, is we've harmonised out the major scale, C major, in 9 chords, and we get the, this set of chords. So these are the chords that are available to us in the key if we wanted to play 9 chords. And they're interchangeable with the other chords, so any way you play C major triad, you could, could play C major 7, or you could play C major 9. Each type of chord has its own distinctive voice, so you could use that to just make a piece a little bit more interesting or to give it some, some more character. Now in that previous video we also talked about the idea of an add chord, where rather than extending the chord from triad through to seventh chord to ninth chord, what we do is we just take the triad and add the ninth degree on. So the same thing applies here. We start off with the triads, bring in the ninth degree and we end up with these chords we've got on the first degree we've got basically a C major add nine so it's a C major triad with an added ninth degree second degree we've got a D minor add nine D minor triad with an added ninth degree third degree we've got an E minor add flat nine it's a minor triad but we have that the flat nine because the ninth degree of E is F sharp and we want an F natural, so we, we flatten the ninth degree by a semitone, same as we did with the, uh, the extended chord. Fourth degree, F major, add nine. Fifth degree, G major, add nine. Sixth degree, A minor, add nine. 
and then on the 7th degree B diminished add flat 9 or B minor flat 5 add flat 9 uh, you could call it, call it either but the principle behind harmonising a scale out in in nine chords like this is the same principle as harmonising it out in triads or harmonising it out in seven chords it's about taking alternate notes from the scale we're building a, a chord on every degree of our major scale using each each degree of the, the scale that we're harmonising as the root note of a chord taking alternate notes from the key and to come up with a formula for those chords we, we need to decide if we're sharpening or flattening any of the degrees for for the notes of the chord compared to like the parallel major scale. Like I say, if you're not completely up to speed with the theory behind chord construction, look at those videos that I've linked in the information section that goes into, into that in a bit more detail. Really in this video I just want to kind of focus on the, the, the nine chord uh, aspect of things. What it boils down to though is you've got a generic set of formula that you can use for harmonising a major scale out in nine chords. So if we want to harmonise it out in uh, full nine chords, extended chords, we've got the formula one major nine, two minor nine, three minor seven flat nine, four major nine, five dominant nine, six minor nine, and then seven half diminished flat nine, or minor seven flat five flat nine. Or if we're looking at add chords, one major add nine, two minor add nine, three minor add flat nine, four major add nine, five major add nine, 6 minor add 9 and then 7 diminished add flat 9. What I normally advise students to do at this uh, at this point is go away with that generic set of formula, sit down with a pencil and paper uh, or with your guitar and just work through some, some harmonisation exercises. Pick a major scale and then harmonise it out in triads, 7 chords, 9 chords, add 9 chords and use, the, use that, those formula in practice to come up with the different chords and just check your, your theory knowledge and make sure you're coming out with a set of chords that match those formula and have notes that are diatonic to the key that you're harmonising. I hope that makes sense. If it didn't or if you've got a question about anything else that you want to ask me about music theory, guitar playing, guitar equipment, anything like that, then if you go here a form you can send a question in and I'll try and get around to answering it in a future video. If you like this video please click like, if you really enjoyed it please click subscribe down there and uh, you'll be notified of any other videos that are posted onto the Fat Fish Guitar Studio YouTube channel. If you've got the question like I say send it in through that form you can leave a comment on the video if you want but generally YouTube's not very good at letting me know when people comment on videos so I don't always get to see uh, questions when they're left there if you want to ask me a question it's much better to send it direct using that form. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye for now.